Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Galactic Cast, which is the flyest podcast in the universe. And what I need y'all to do for me, I need y'all to do for me a strong favor, man. And what I need y'all to do for me is fly with Z. As I take you through a journey, I said, fly with Z. As I take you through a journey. Yeah, man. What's going on, people? It's been a long time, but guess what? I'm back. Like Freddy's Revenge, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy Krueger. Because you got the body. And I got the brain. <laughs> yeah, I've been on my horror flick binge, man. All week, man. Just watching horror flicks from the 80s when I was a kid, man. I had siblings, man. You know, growing up, it was me, my two sisters, and my brother. Uh, Zatina G, she wasn't even born yet. It's like the early, it's like the mid 80s, you know what I mean? Early mid 80s when Freddy Krueger first came out in 84, you know what I mean? So I was I was binge watching a lot of horror flicks and I was watching Freddy Krueger part two, Freddy's Revenge. That was pretty, pretty, pretty crucial, you know, watching that as a youngster. So, you know, it's Halloween week. Hey man, what can I say, man? You got the body, but guess what? Z Ball got the brain on the Galactic Cast, the flies podcast in the universe. And smoke some with me. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, let's let's get fly, man. It's the flyest podcast in the universe. You know what I mean? It's good to be back with you all. Put on your comments, man. Put it in the comments. Type in the comments. Tell me how y'all feel about, you know, Z-Ball on the fly. On the podcast. Back in your YouTube. Coming out like Freddy Krueger. Coming to get Nancy on Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1. <laughs> I know all y'all got y'all little Halloween decorations all on your door. I know all y'all got y'all jack lanterns all carved up. Old pumpkin head ass, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Yeah, I'm just on this podcast just, just bullshitting, man. Just shooting the breeze. You know what I mean? What we talking about, man? What we talking about, man? Well, you know, it's late October, and uh, NBA season is back. You know what I mean? The season of the 2022-2023. You know what I mean? And, and what we talking about? What we talking about, man? Who your favorite team, man? I really don't have a favorite team. I, I watch the players. It's all, it's all about the players when I'm watching the NBA. Uh, I grew up watching the Chicago Bulls. That's always been my favorite team growing up because I grew up from the Jordan era, you know what I mean? So, you know, living in East St. Louis, Illinois, watching basketball. I'm in Illinois, the closest city to Illinois with a basketball team in Chicago. So I grew up watching the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Bill Cartwright, Will Perdue, you know what I mean? B.J. Armstrong, John Paxson. You know, back when Phil Jackson was the coach. Michael Jordan winning his first championship in 1991. You know what I mean? With, with, the, with the black infrared sixes on. It wasn't even called no names, infrareds and numbers. It was just the new Jordans. You know what I mean? You, you was watching the screen, watching Michael Jordan, looking at his shoes on his feet as he was making history. You know what I mean? Doing shit that had never been done before. Because all these moves now, man, Jordan created them all, man. I ain't going to even hold you, man. He he was a monster. And if you wasn't born in that era, do some highlights on your YouTube so y'all can see how it was in 1984, 85, 86, 87 when Jordan just came and turned the world upside down. I'm a little shorty wanting to be like Mike, putting the crates on the tree outside on 24th, 2400 block of St. Clair Avenue, 24th Street in East St. Louis. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man. What are we talking about today, man? 
We want to, since we talk about the NBA, we might as well go in. Lakers are currently 0-3. The Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, LeBron, LeBron Nation. Lebanon. LeBron Nation. You know, he's the billionaire in the league. He got he got some killers on the squad. I ain't gonna even hold you. Russell Westbrook is still a killer, and y'all non-basketball players is always trying to smudge dirt on his name. Put some respect on Russell Westbrook's name. He is a history maker. He is the Oscar Robinson record breaker of the most triple doubles ever made in the NBA, and he's still in counting. Put some respect on Russell Westbrook's name, you non-basketball playing motherfuckers. Ain't never did a layup, ain't never did a free throw drill, ain't never did a layup drill, ain't never did a, did a tip drop in your life, ain't never did a spin move with a fadeaway, ain't never did a, a block shot, a dunk, or nothing in your life. You just want to get on the screen in the media and talk smudge dirt on Westbrook's name. That boy can hoop. And I was watching the interview, post interview when... The Los Angeles Lakers lost against the Portland Trail Blazers, which was a great game yesterday. It was it was sweet. Got to give a shout out to Damian Lillard. He's back with the Portland Trail Blazers and got his young goons killing them in the court. But yeah, they beat the Los Angeles Lakers by two points after LeBron James attempted to win the last game winning scoring shot and he missed. And once the hunt horn honked at the end of the game. LeBron James just walked off and had to man it up. Because let me tell you, when you're playing basketball, the best feeling is better than busting the nut and some good sex on a badass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Winning in basketball is like going to heaven, to the heaven's gates and walking up the steps to the golden gates and talking to God and saying, I won. That's what winning in basketball feel like. But when you lose... It feels like the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders and everybody's looking at your facial expression. It's recorded and documented on every camera, on every recording, on every media site. It's just, oh man, LeBron James, I'll be praying for you, my brother. Anthony Davis, I'll be praying for you, my brother. You know I me, mean? y'all got Patrick Beverly on the squad. Y'all got some killers on the squad, but I'm going to be praying for y'all brothers because Y'all got to get a win. Y'all got to get at least one win in before the week is over. And I don't. I think who y'all playing next? Y'all playing? Y'all going on the road and y'all going up against? Uh, I think y'all going up against not the Milwaukee Bucks, but uh, man, I can't even get the get the team name out. I think y'all. That's what LeBron James said. Y'all going on the road. Um, to go play uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Y'all getting ready to go play them guys. At least get a win with those guys, man. At least beat them, please. But then y'all got to face the Denver Nuggets. Oh, man. Where does Z-Ball stay at? Z-Ball stay in Denver, Colorado. Ooh. Let me tell you about the Western Conference. Let me tell you about the Golden State Warriors. Let me tell you about the Phoenix Suns. Y'all in trouble, man, going against Denver this year. Let me tell you about them Dallas Mavs. Y'all in trouble, man. Because the Denver Nuggets, man. Woo! You got Michael Porter Jr. You got Jamal Mary. You got KCP. Why KCP play, why KCP play for Denver? Yeah, Contagious Caldwell Pope. They used to play for the Lakers with LeBron when they won the championship in 2020 during the pandemic. Yes, he's playing for the Denver Nuggets. Why do you got... DeAndre Jordan. They got DeAndre Jordan? Ooh. Why they got Jamal Mary back? He just, he just, he back. He quiet too. He real quiet. He gonna get loud in a minute. But he real quiet. Of course, the Joker, MVP. He, you know he's going for MVP again. You know he's gonna try to repeat that MVP status. The Joker. Oh yeah, he is the Joker. The censor of the Denver Nuggets, the Joker, is the truth. He's the baddest center in the game. Today! Oh, yeah, basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way to dribble, dribble, dribble up and down the court. You know what I mean? 
But yeah, we back, man. We back, man. We back with an attack, man. Still smoking on some of this Gary Payton. Shout out to Gary Payton and Gary Payton, too, because you one of the championship guys. And is you still playing for the Golden State Warriors? Because I ain't seen you on the court. You probably low-key somewhere. But yeah, shout out to the Gary Payton family, because we show smoking on that Gary Payton. For the cure. Yeah, Z-Ball is back. Live on the Galactic Cast, which is the flyest podcast in the universe. And I know y'all like, man, what's he ball been up to, man? Well, y'all seen the last podcast that I put up, which was my 11th episode. And this is the 12th episode. You know, this this episode number 12. So, you know, we 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 back up in it and we rising to the top. Z-Ball been cutting hair, man. Z-Ball been busy in the barbershop cutting hair because you know why? That's my purpose. My purpose in life is making people look and feel great. And by me living my purpose and staying devoted to my purpose and my craft, I'm able to help people live their purpose. And when people provide products for me and the finer things in life for me, it makes me appreciate living my purpose. So if you need a haircut, if you need to look fly, email the Galactic Haircut Barber Salon at Z-B-A-L-L-I-N-O-U-T at gmail.com. That's z out at gmail.com. And the Galactic Haircut will give you the most innovative, trendy haircut that you can ever wear in your life. Fresh lining, fresh fade, fresh even cut, fro, you know what I mean? Even low, Caesar, waves, crew cut. Mohawk, Frohawk, all that. South of France, I got you. You know what I mean? Beard lining, beard trimming, because I'm beard gang all day. Nappy by choice, because I'm a roster mind. Hit me up. Zballingout at gmail.com. Email me. Sincerely. At the Galactic Haircut. Barbara Salon. Please. Yeah, man. Back to our regularly scheduled programming at the Galactic Cast, which is the flyest podcast in the universe. Man, I just been living life, man. You know, been to St. Louis twice within the month of September. Went to go see my grandma before she passed away. And then when she went on to glory, we had a home going service and the reunion in St. Louis like no other, man. It was beautiful. It was a lot of love in St. Louis. And we had a burial. We, we sent the own off to eternity with a lot of love, a lot of grace, a lot of, lot of just just a lot of great fellowship with the family, man. And man, it was it was it was fun. A lot of fun, man. You know, just just being with family. Like we laughed, we cried, we we ate, we traveled around, it's house to house and you know, reminisce. Seeing the kids grow, you know, buying them treats, and it was just fun, man. You know, just coming back. I came back uh, in the beginning of October, you know, and I just been on the grind, man. Just, just taking care of the people, man. Taking care of the people and taking care of the plants. Oh yeah, taking care of the plants at the Galactic Plant Cannabis Grow. You know, got got a nice harvest on the way. You know, in in a matter of uh, what twenty five days. You know what I mean? Matter of 35 days, in a matter of 35 days, yeah, 35, yeah, 35 days to harvest. In a matter of 35 days, uh, yeah, it's gonna be some good, 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 good harvest plants coming real soon, some good strains. Mind flower, you know what I mean? That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, man, it's, it's been a blessing, man, going into this fall season, seeing all the leaves turn color. You know, right now they all falling off the trees now, you know, on this side in Colorado, so. You know, just seeing all the leaves turn colors during all during this whole month of October was was cool. You know what I mean? You're starting to layer up and get fresh and fly with the fall fashion. You know, pre winter fall fashion. You know what I mean? You know. So you know, like I said, fly with Z as I take you through a journey. It's time to get fly. It's time to layer up. It's time to put on your nice gear, man. It's time to get all your flannels, all your thermals out, all your fleeces, all your sweaters. All your 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 long sleeve shirts and your corduroys, trying to get those things out, take them to the cleaners, you know, or the laundromat, you know, man, get all your stuff real clean and and real cozy, man. Trying to get 
time to get the thick blankets out. You know what I mean? Especially if you live in Colorado, because it's going to be snowing real soon. Yes, it will be snowing real soon. I seen a couple of snowflakes on my weather app. You know what I mean? So, hey, man, I'm ready, man. I got my coat freshly cleaned up. I want to invest and buy a new coat. You know what I mean? You know, to keep myself bundled up and, and fashionable at the same time. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, Z-Ball and the rest of my family, the Gardner family and the Cosby family, we are fashionistas in the winter, spring, summer, and fall. Holla at me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, man. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a blessing, man, it's, to see another season, man, and as we march into this holiday season, you know, into the new year. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We just gotta stay prayed up, you know, and uh, you know, just they just stay supporting our kids and our nieces and nephews and our moms and dad and you know all our loved ones, man. We just gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stay. We gotta, you know, you know what? We living in a time where everybody is basically monopolizing off negative energy. That's the time we living in. But at the Galactic Cast, it's really all about that positive energy, man. You know, you know, it's a lot of podcasts that, you know, that's about that smoke. You know, a lot of podcasts is about that life, man. A lot of podcasts is about that, you know what I mean? About that drama, you know. But, you know, hey, man, with me, Z-Ball, it's just my character, man. You see me, man. I'm, psh, you see me, I'm blazing, I'm blazing up to him, man. I got CBD in my, in my blood veins. I got CBD in my bloodstream, all in my veins, man. But I got to match it up with some of this THC. You feel me? This is when you when you see THC in the bloodstream matching up with the CBD and the CBG and CBNs already in the bloodstream. The reason why I said that, because I ain't been doing nothing but just, man, on my recreational time and, and time for healing with the cannabis, I've been on them CBD gummies, period, man. Y'all need to get on them CBD gummies, man. I, and, and this is the full spectrum CBD gummies that has like 50 milligrams of CBD in one gummy. It may have like 1.5 milligrams of TAC, a small trace of TAC because it's full spectrum. And then I got I got these gummies that got like 10 milligrams of ginger with 10 milligrams of cannabigurol, which is CBG. And it's the cannabis that's responsible for killing all toxins and cancer cells in your body through the endocannabinoid system. Hop on them gummies, man. Put them in your, put them in your body, and then you're gonna see how positive your life is, man. On the mental level, physical level, and spiritual level. I told you to fly with Z as I take you through a journey. What up, Snoop? Come on to the Galactic Cast, man. If you ever tap into the Galactic Cast podcast and you see a roster mine that's flying fresh, smoking good in Colorado, you need to go ahead and try to. You know, type in the comments on, and try to get in with the email and try to see your boy so we can solidify the smoke a thon ritual roster session. The smoke a thon ritual roster session. And you're only going to smoke raws. You only gonna, uh, That's going to be the rule. You're only going to smoke raws with Zebra. I know you like to smoke your blunt snoop, but you're only going to smoke raws with Zebra. I got people calling me. Saying they, they remind, I remind them of Snoop at the shop, man. So it, it's kind of crazy, man, because I moved out here to the West, and then I don't know, this this look just overcame me, man. So shout out to Snoop, man. Shout out to all the smokers and stoners that's in hip hop. I will welcome you to the galactic universe to smoke weed on an episode, and it ain't gonna do nothing but just take me all the way to the top. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, man. What what we talking about, man? We talking about basketball, man. Shh. I got NBA Two K Twenty Three on my phone. The, the game, it's it's like it's like the simulated basketball arcade game, NBA Two K Twenty Three, and it's it's dope. But it's hard as a mug, man. It's man, the computer be whooping my ass on the season games, man. I, I'm playing with the Pelicans. Oh yeah. The Pelicans, watch out for the Pelicans. Ain't nobody talking about the Pelicans. Come on, man, Zion Williamson back, man. And I'm liking how the young man is playing. He got his body back. Because, man, last year and the year before last, he was bigger than Barkley, man. He was 
he was he was eating too much, man. He he he, he had them endorsements with them with them chips, and, <laughs> and he just he just got fat, man. They they must have fed him, but he young, you know. You know, Zion Williamson, he ain't number, what, 22, 23, so he young. When you young like that, you got a bunch of money. You got Jordan all on your team. You got tennis shoes. You just you just feel like you're entitled, and that's how he came in the league. But I hopefully hopefully that, you know, he got some discipline in, and he, he got himself back fit and back right with the right trainers and everything. Because, you know, you getting paid all this money. You got to play. You know, it, it, is, it is required. It is behooved to you that you play. You know, especially being young like that. So I'm glad he got his body back together. He looked like he had a bit about mm, 280, 290 of pure muscle. He, he looking good on the court over there with C.J. McCullen of the New Orleans Pelicans and and and, and, and my man D.I., Brandon Ingram. You know, Brandon Ingram looked like he he kind of like got bulked up a little bit, you know, got, got a little broad, a little bit, got his skills right. Um, they got Murphy. They got, ooh, they got some killers too. Uh, Val Chunis, the center. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, they got some, yeah, yeah. Be on the lookout for the Pelicans, man. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the Pelicans, and I'm playing them on my game, you know. So, you know, I'm still working the controls, you know, on the game. It's it's, it's a dope look video game system on my iPhone 13 Pro because I ain't getting no console. If I get a console, I won't get nothing done, man. Having a TV and having a console, no, no. I got the iPhone 13 Pro. I play it, you know, it's a brand new app I got on my arcade, um, on my arcade subscription on Apple. Uh, and I just play that all the time whenever I got some downtime in between haircuts or I'm here at the house, you know what I mean? Just chilling or whatever, I'm playing the game. You know, it's that, it's that season, man. Hey, what can I say? NBA, 2K. 23, we here, baby. Uh, I've been binge watching a lot of basketball, but that, that's what Z-Ball been up to. Haircuts, binge watching a lot of basketball, playing basketball in the gym, cooking, and chilling. You know what I mean? That's all I've been doing, man. And, grow, and growing my cannabis, you know what I mean? Chilling. And I'm back on the Galactic Cast. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's been a lot of disappointing stuff going on, too. And just hip-hop. Boxing, just the world. Period, man. But we gonna we 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 gonna talk about you know uh, boxing. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back because Terrence Bud Crawford and Earl Spence Jr. been going at it for four years, almost five years on who is the top boxer between them two. Terrence Bud Crawford came to the welterweight division after unifying and becoming the undisputed champion of the world in the light welterweight division, which is 140. What do you call it? Super lightweight division, 140. He made history. Then he he went on over the welterweight when he signed the top rank, Bob Arum, and he... The first fight that he fought was for Jeff Horn to get the WBO belt. He beat Jeff Horn. He stopped him. But, you know, it was already expected that he was going to beat Jeff Horn. You know what I mean? Who was Jeff Horn? He he beat Pacquiao, got Pacquiao belt for the WBO. And then Terrence Moore Crawford said, okay, let me go step over to the what's waiting and, and, and pick that off. Do you not know that was back in early 2018 when he did that? Almost five years ago. And that's still the only belt he got. And he's been holding on to the WBO belt without having not one unified fight with the elites. He's been defending that WBO belt for the past five years. And this year, when Earl Spence beat Ugas and got the WBA belt from Ugas, he said it is time. For me and Terrence Bud Crawford to fight. He been, Terrence Bud Crawford been calling me, Earl Spence out. I just beat Ugas. I got my IBF. I got my WBC. I got my WBA from Ugas. Now I'm knocking on Terrence Bud Crawford door like the boogeyman I am for that WBO. So, you know, we all been waiting on that fight ever since, to, ever since Earl Spence won the fight in April. Oh, yeah. Just in case y'all tripping off me, this is a boxing podcast. For real, for real. 
and it's creeping into that. Shout out to my peoples, Black Fight Fan, Black CC78. I'm, I'm, I'm knocking, I'm knocking on, I'm knocking on the door, man. I'm not, I'm knocking on the Lions Den boxing community's door, man. The LDBC. Hey, man, what's up, man? If you see me, type in the comments and tell me how you feel about what's going on. You know what I mean? It's the Galactic Cast. You see me talking that talk. But yeah, anyway. I just had to throw that out there. Anyway, Terrence Bud Crawford was supposed to go into negotiations to fight Earl Spence this year in November. Hopefully November 19th, November 26th, somewhere around that area. You know, I mean, even December, we was we was we was we was anticipating on the fight, which is the new school. Hers versus Hagler. But I don't like to compare. But this Terrence Bud Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. was going to be something close to some 1980s boxing type in 2022. But guess what, y'all? Terrence Bud Crawford is not fighting, y'all. He's not, well, he's fighting, but he's not fighting Earl Spence. He's fighting a guy by the name of David Avenicia. David Anastasia or David Amnesia. I don't know who this guy is, but that's who Terrence Boyd Crawford is scheduled to fight on December 10th. Let that sink in. Yeah. And this is where I go old school and look at Terrence Boyd Crawford like, what happened, dog? This, 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 this is Midwest type. St. Louis, East St. Louis, Omaha, Nebraska. I know they be doing the same thing. You fight who? Then you just say, all right, man. That's all you got to say about that, man. All right. You know, hey, man, it's negotiations, it's business, it's ducking, it's, you know, it's whatever you want to call it, man. You know, it's scared, you know, nervous, you know. Second thoughts, not being 100% committed to fight side deals. Hey, man, it is what it is. Terrence Bud Crawford, you are scheduled to fight David Avenicia. And it's always going to be a question mark because nobody knows this, who this guy is. And Earl Spence is just still waiting on what he can do, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man, by me explaining it, the way I'm explaining it, it tells you. It, it just tells you what it is. You just like, hey, man, but hey, I mean, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed by that fight not happening because I had a whole podcast about that fight two episodes ago, and one of my guys was a native of, not a native, but a citizen of Omaha, Nebraska, you know, so... And he, you know, we was talking good. We was talking good, good talk about what may happen, and we was looking forward to seeing it. Hopefully, it can still happen. I'm, hey, man, it, this may be a tuna fight for Terrence Crawford. Maybe, maybe he feel like before he get down and dirty, he want to see how much damage he can do on a lower class fighter to get him comfortable and get and get him, you know, get his motors revving for confidence to fight Earl Spence. But let me tell you something: Earl Spence is a dog, man. And this ain't doing nothing but fueling more fire to him, man. It's just, it's just like, man, you, you put you putting gasoline on, on 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 a burning furnace, man. You just you just keep throwing gasoline on a burning furnace, man. With Earl Spence, man, the dude, the dude is is he different, man. He different right now. This man is farming, man. This man, this man is raising horses, man. He's raising cattle. He's totally transformed. He's a he's a true, true, proud country boy right now. That stays in the barnyard, a barnyard style gym. He lives there every day and trains there every day. Got a nutritionist to keep his weight down. Ain't no telling how ain't no telling how built he is right now because we ain't seen him on screen in about a good four or five months. So you know he's a quiet dude. He's tactical. He's strategic. And you know Terrence Will Crawford. He been out chill, man. He been all kicking with Jay Z and. Floyd Mayweather and 50 Cent and Snoop. <laughs> the dude been kicking it, man. You know, what can I say, man? You know, now he fighting a, a guy by, by the name, a no name. And, you know, we all still going to watch it. We, we, we mad right now. You know, we all disappointed right now. 
But we 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 gonna watch the fight, man. We 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 gonna watch it, man. You know, we all got this love for Terrence Crawford, man. It's almost like Terrence Terrence Crawford remind me of that little brother that grew up and got big. Now he bucking up at you. You know what I'm saying? Wishing you could say something to him. You know, he like that little brother that's like that. That's how I look at Terrence Bud Crawford as. He like that little brother that came up in the ranks and you raised him and you groomed him, but now he grew up and turned into a beast and you can't say nothing to him because you do you do I got a nephew like that. You know, his name's TJ, you know. Free Fremont nephew TJ, he he's 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 doing he's doing his doing his time, man. You know, I'm praying for him. But he remind he, he remind me of one of those type of dudes. He got his own mind. He ain't listen to nobody. He don't care about the fans. He although he do care about the fans because he performed and when he in the ring, he do put in that work. I think he would care more about his family more than his fans. And hey man, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Hey man. Hey man. More power to Terrence Crawford, man. You still you still you still pound for pound, top. Five in 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 the, in in boxing, um, you still undefeated. You know you still a history maker in the super lightweight division by being undisputed. Can't nobody take that away from you, man. You know, going on welterweight division, you're always gonna have some ast a couple asterisk a couple asterisks. You know, until you fight up against Earl Spence Jr. to prove that you can beat him and to prove that you can be the undisputed undisputed. World's weight champion of the world, just like you were, just like you were when you was at the lightweight division, the super lightweight division. But yeah, I, I, that's all I'm gonna speak on on that. Earl Spence is the truth. He a dog. He put on his Twitter, man, dude left me hanging to fight a no name. He put that on Twitter, man. So hey, man, Earl's still waiting on the fight. He, hopefully, he fight Jerron Boots Ennis, or you know, I think I think he's up for. Uh, uh, and mandatory. He's up for an IBF mandatory with Jerron Buzinis. That would be more of an interesting fight. He fight the little Philly young boy. Because the little Philly young boy, Jerron Buzinis is ready. He ready to, he ready to take on all comers. Um, but stay on this. Stay, stay, stank on you. Stay on this. I don't know what his name is. I But I know that he is the mandatory for the WBA. He's the mandatory for the WBA. If I'm not mistaken, it's the WBA. He's the mandatory for Earl Spence for the WBA. So he got some options. I, I, I would be more interested in the Jerron Boots in this thing because it would be a coming out party for Jerron Boots. And it would be a great way of Earl Spence providing an opportunity for Jerron Boots, just like the opportunity was placed for him when he was entering into the welterweight division in the PBC when he fought against um, the white boy. <laughs> I forgot the white boy name, but he sure gave Earl Smith's opportunity to, to, to creep on in, man. Uh, it, 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 it'll come to me probably like a little later, but this white boy was the white boy that uh, lost against Pacquiao. Pacquiao was knocking this boy upside the head all, all over the place. Um, forgot the dude's name. He a New Yorker white dude. He used to be a teacher or whatever. Hey, man, if y'all watching this, put it in the comments and, and give me some help. That's why I need y'all to be more participating in on this thing man because the galactic cast is the future i'm a baby you know what i mean i just cradled and birthed this thing on on the fourth of july you know of, of this this year you know what I man i don't have no cosigns i don't have no no hollywood push or no big corporate push it's just all coming from the mud you know you know barbershop podcast real barbershop talk you know so you know what I need y'all to do is to like. I need a lot of likes on whoever's watching this. Once this get po posted up, give, give me some likes, y'all. And subscribe. Press the subscribe button. It's free of charge. All you have to do is just worry about keeping your phone bill paid and your Wi-Fi bill paid. That's all. But me, I ain't, ain't, ain't nothing getting into my pocket. Like I say, I make money off this. <laughs> That's what I make my money off of, you know what I mean? So I, I'm basically doing this just to be able to give y'all content and entertainment and flyness and bless ups through the YouTube screen. You know what I mean? This is Z-Ball, man. Live on your YouTube TV. Live on your phone. Live on your laptop. You know, so you know, subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe. Press that subscribe button. 
and give me some likes and give me some comments, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about, man. You know? Let's get involved, man. Let's build, let's grow this thing. Let's grow this thing. And I'm I'm back. I'm 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 I'm, I'm back in your face, you know, smoking live. Yeah, man, we smoke it. That's what we do on this cast. We bless up. We fly. On that cannabis, you know what I mean? So, you know, all I need is my people just to, you know, just fly with me. And it, like I said, even if you don't even smoke, if you get your little wine glass, you know, pour your little wine or... You know, your, 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 your little cognac or whatever. You know, it's just vibe. It's a, it's a, it's a vibe show. You know, this, this show is designed to for you to sit back when you get off work or if you're taking a break in between work, you know what I mean, and you just want to get on your, your YouTube and see what's going on. You're going to see me. You're going to see me up. I, I threw a couple of shorts. I threw a couple of shorts up past couple of weeks since I wasn't putting no content out. I just threw a couple of little comedic shorts up, you know what I mean, just having fun, you know. You know, you know, I, 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 I do this for fun, man. It, it's just, this is just me being me, me being a barber, me, me having some barbershop talk, you know, online, you know, and kicking it, you know what I mean? Kicking it, man, because you know, we could be going through our routines out throughout the each day, day to day, and we could find ourselves dealing with a lot of people that's not of our culture, but we got to brush shoulders with different races of people, different walks of life, you know, different age groups. We got to, we got to, we got to walk through these walks of life just to be able to eat, just to be able to bring bread in the house. You know what I mean? Even though we may love our jobs and love what we do, but we still have to be public figures, you know, from a nine to five, or if you're on your day to day hustle and on your day to day grind, you got to be outside. A rapper got to be outside. An actor got to be outside. You know, a teacher, you know, a, a, a professional athlete. We all got to be outside. We all got to deal with different gifts that may be outside our culture. But, you know, it's all about living that purpose. You know, it's all about feeding our family. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, this is something that you can, you know, tune in to, like, when you get off work or something. You know what I mean? Or... You know, you want to see what's on Z Ball, like my family knows or whatever. Let me see what he on. You know what I mean? Let me, let me check out check out his podcast. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, man, subscribe, man. Just just like it. You know what I mean? You just press the like button or you just comment some stuff. You know, cause I'm 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 like a I'm like a YouTube head. You know, it's about it's a whole bunch of podcasts I watch and I watch a lot of comments too. I read a lot of comments. I'm a comment I'm a comment reader. Uh, I'm a reader. You know what I mean? I'm a thinker. You know. Uh, before I turn on this microphone and turn the camera on, I always think about how I'm gonna present the next episode. You know, so it's just, it's it's all it's all in in great nurturing of the content at the Galactic Cast, the flyest podcast in the universe. Smoking out, you know what I mean? Eating good, eating good and healthy. A lot of alkaline foods and drinking a lot of alkaline water. I always wanted to do that because I grew up in church and rest in peace to my uncle Kim, you know, he's my, he's my mom's older brother. Um, he passed away in 94 of lymphoma. He, he battled it while he was preaching. He's always getting on the, in a pulpit and they just give him this like ice cold preacher's picture and the preacher's picture. It was like a, it was like a picture and it was, it, it wasn't clear. It was like, olive color and they had a black cross on, on the front and he, he, they would come out with a big uh ice glass and they would pour their water in the glass right in the middle of him preaching on the pulpit and he'd be like thank you thank you thank you thank you sister 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 wanda and then he was just drinking I used to do that back in the day, and everybody in the church used to be laughing because he he had the little sound effects, man. He was he was an entertaining preacher, man. Yeah, yeah, that's my uncle, man, my uncle Kim, man, shining down on us every day, man. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I I done it, yo, I done it in dedication to him, man. That was a, that was a refreshing, nostalgic sip of water. 
Yeah. <laughs> I know y'all like I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. You know, but it's the humor side of Z-Ball. What else we talking about, man? Yeah, a lot, a lot of crazy stuff been going on in hip hop with, with Kanye West, man. You know, dude, dude, crazy, man. That's all. He a fool, man. You know, you know, you know. And I'm saying a fool and, and like, you know, crazy. Like, yeah, he just a crazy dude, man. You know, he he doing it all in on purpose, man. And everybody biting into the bait. So just pray for the man. You know, he may have some mental issues, but you know, just pray for him, man. That's all you can do for people like that. That's all I'm gonna talk about. But I got a fun fact for y'all. I'm a sneak ahead, but I gotta let y'all know. Fun fact is Z Ball has never purchased a pair of Yeezys in his life. <laughs> and that's a fact. But um from all my Brothers' testimonies and all my friends and sneakerheads that I know testimonies, they say Yeezys are a good quality, comfortable shoe. And you can't knock it because the the, 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 the the patterns and the materials is fresh. And yeah, he do got some fresh stuff, but I'm just giving facts. I have never bought a pair of Yeezys. And that's facts. Period. The end. <laughs> I'm a Nike head, man. What? I rock Nikes, man, and Jordans, and the Nike Air Jordans. That's not no Jordans. I rock Nike Air Jordans because I am a Nike Air head. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I don't mess with Adidas. Never mess with Adidas a day in my life. I always been Chuck Taylors and Nikes. Few Pumas. Few British Knights, Troops, LA Gears. Oh, yeah, I rock LA Gears. Yeah, Z Ball rock LA Gears. Then you can't tell me in 86, 87, Cats weren't rocking LA Gears. Cats was rocking LA Gears. <laughs> yeah, man, Reeboks. Yeah, I'm a sneakerhead, man. But Adidas, I never wore Adidas, you know, a day in my life. You know, shout out to Run DMC and all y'all, you know me, but Z-Ball always did them Nikes, man. <sighs> but my brother, he got the Yeezys all day. When it comes to Yeezys, he can tell you all about it. He can show it to you. He can inspire you. He even inspired me, but you know, I tell my brother, it fits you. You can pull it off. Z-Ball, when you see Z-Ball, you see Nikes. You see Michael Air Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> some 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 type of shoes is fit certain different type of people. You know what I mean? Uh, what we talking about, man? What we talking about? News. Um, this is a sad, sad uh, news break. Uh, in St. Louis, it was a shooting. On Monday, October 24th, 2022, on Monday morning, it was a shooting at the Vocational, Vocational Visual and Performing Arts School, which is the same school that my sister's a Tina G. She went to that school and they had a shooting. And rest in peace to the people who lost their lives, even the shooter. Um, got murdered. Even Shooter, you know, he he lost his life too. Um, just sad, man. Just sad. I just had to throw that out there. That, that's what happened in St. Louis, my hometown, just less than 24 hours ago. You know what I mean? So, man, rest in peace to those family members. And condolences to those family members, family. Those, those members who got killed, family, man. It's... Man, we got we to gotta stay prayed up, man. Because you can walk outside and, you know, it can be it, man. Because, whoo, we got to stay, stay with the sticks. Got to stay on our defense. You know, we got we to gotta stay prayed up. We got to stay tactical. Yeah, man, because it's, it's just, yeah, that was a bad situation. I just had to throw that out there on a sad note. You know what I mean? St. Louis, man, my mom and my 
brother and my sisters and nieces and nephews, they all live there. I was just there. I was just there last month. And my sister, she lived here in Colorado. You know, y'all seen her on a couple of interviews. You know, it was a Tina G. She's here in Colorado, and she called me when she found out. I didn't even want to tell her when I first found out because I knew she was probably working and doing her thing. But, yeah, man, she she uh, she uh felt a certain way about this. It's such a sad occasion, you know. And uh, I'll be praying for her, too, because that was the school she went to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So, we, we, you know, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on, man. And I, I like, I, even with the Kanye West thing, man, I'm praying for that brother because, you know, he put a lot of stuff out there in the universe that ain't, ain't that's dangerous for his soul, dangerous for him, his future, you know. And, you know, and the people around, not even him, but the people around him, you know. So, you know, I'll be praying for that brother, man. Be praying for that brother that he uh, maintain his success. Because guess what? The Bible says, for what good shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world but lose his soul? You know what I mean? So, you know, you know, you you you, you see certain things and you just be like, okay, you know, just be praying for that brother, you know what I mean? That's all I can really say, you know. Blessings to everybody, you know. Yeah, man, we want everybody to live. We want Kanye West to continue to live. We just want him to heal. You know, the best way to heal is with the ganja mind, you know. Blessings. You know, ganja heals you on a mental level, physical level, and spiritual level. And guess what? If you don't want to smoke the ganja because you do get the psychoactive effectives you get the psychoactive effects of the ganja when you smoke the ganja. Just, just get some CBD. You know what I mean? Take your CBD gummy or something. Or some CBD isolate, which is 99.9% .9 .9 CBD. Take some of that CBD and no psychoactive effects. You know, but you will have great healing in your mind, your thinking, your body. Your spirit, it, it'd be great, man. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, man, I, I just want to just throw those gems out, man. Just pray for everybody, man. You know, like, like this is the time to really have protection for yourself, your spirit, your, your children, you know, your, your nieces and nephews, your mom, your dad, your grandparents. You, you want to you wanna have a lot of love for those people. And speaking of grandparents, I want to wish my granddad, Zenotha D. Gardner Sr., my namesake, a happy birthday. Happy 88th birthday. His birthday is today, y'all. October 25th, 2022. He just turned 88 years old. That is a blessing. And they just celebrated his party all yesterday. Well, the day before yesterday on Sunday and Saturday it was a big weekend extravaganza for my granddad's 88th birthday and i want to wish my 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 cousin james jones jr want to wish him a happy birthday too he just turned 44 you know what i mean he finally came to the 44 club ha <laughs> along with me you know <laughs> but yeah man it's a blessing man i just want to get those shots out man it's all about family 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 it's all about friends it's all about living purpose I'm going to go ahead and sign out. This is the Galactic Cast, the Flies podcast in the universe. And I need y'all to fly with Z as I take you through a journey. Peace.